In this video, you will see how our SOX Erosion Solution Systems are deployed and all of the necessary steps you will need to properly install our systems. This video will break down into several chapters to assist you in understanding each step of the process. Before continuing to the installation process, you will need to first determine whether or not the project will be using a 6 or 12 foot sock. You will also need to determine the quantity of linear feet needed. Shore socks and dredge socks are very similar systems, but each system has a different installation technique, and both containment systems come complete with the anchor and line sewn in. All other tools needed to complete this project will need to be purchased separately. Tools include stakes, rope, sledgehammers, needle nose pliers, a dredge machine, hoses, 65 pound braided line, and a large needle. This video will demonstrate the proper steps needed to install our dredge shock system. Chapter one, staking. Once the area is determined for installation, you will start by laying out the proper staking system based on the stability of the environment. In this section, we demonstrate by using two by two by 24 pre-drilled beveled wooden stakes. First, lay out the stakes on the bottom tier, closest to the water, approximately two and a half to three feet apart from each other and about one to two feet above the water line. You will then lay out the stakes on the top tier. The top row is staggered adjacent from the bottom row. Once the stakes are laid out, you can begin by staking in the bottom row straight into the ground with the beveled edge facing the water. That beveled edge will act like a fulcrum when pressure is put on. After the bottom row is secured, you will then stake the top row of stakes according to what the eroded area allows, also with the beveled edge facing the water. But these stakes will be staked at a 45 degree angle with the pre-drilled hole facing the water. This top row will not be secured completely underground until the finalization step. Chapter two laying material and securing rope. Roll out the material. Using a quarter inch double braided rope, you will attach the lower rope channel to the bottom row of stakes, attaching the ropes as close as possible to prevent the loss of material from underneath the sock. Once the bottom row of stakes is tied to the bottom roping channel, pull the bottom roping channel tight and tie the excess rope to the returning stake. Then you will pound the lower row of stakes completely under the ground. When tying the upper rope channel to the upper tier of stakes, use the needle nose pliers to push the rope through the pre-drilled pilot hole, then wrap twice underneath the lead rope, and then tie two half-inch knots. Chapter three, attaching and sewing material. If more than one section of socks is needed, you will need to sew the sections together to create the proper length to fulfill the required job. In the instance that you are doing just a section and not the entire shoreline, before filling the socks with material, you must sew in your socks ends. When the socks is completely deployed, the first and final section of socks must be sewed to close the system for fill. If the job is an entire lake or pond, the socks must be sewed together and there will be no need to close up the end. Chapter four, filling the material. Once you have all the previous steps completed, you may fill the socks. While pulling the material from the adjacent waterway and filling the socks, be sure to be aware of the amount of material entering the socks to prevent any overfilling. If added stabilization is needed, be sure to stagger more stakes and follow the same procedure as earlier to attach these stakes to the upper rope channel. Chapter five, finalization, tamping, modifying, and vegetation. When prepping the socks for finalization, make sure to fill any soft spot to ensure a fully stable shoreline. After ensuring the socks is completely filled, be sure to adjust the pitch of the shoreline based on the request of the client. When adjusting the socks, make sure that the bull nose of the socks is at least four to six inches with the adjacent waterline. Once all needed adjustments are made, then be sure to completely pound the upper row of stakes underneath the surface. If sodding the socks, you will need to use some type of securing stake for the bottom two rows of sod. We prefer bamboo chopsticks for environmental reasons. Push the securing pin through the sod and into the sock to firmly secure the lower two pieces of sod to your socks erosion solution system. Once the bottom two layers of sod are set in place, fit together the rest of the sod pieces tightly and completely cover the socks. If you are not sodding and you are going with one of the other finishes, then now is the time to do so. 